All this week, Texas State's Pi Kappa Phi fraternity is raising money for people with disabilities. Push America is a fraternity's annual fundraiser where members take turns staying in the quad, rain or shine, asking students to donate spare change. Members have been out on the quad since Sunday night, and at least two members of the fraternity can be seen on the scaffold 24 hours a day. All money raised goes to the National Push America Foundation to help make facilities more accessible for people in wheelchairs. This year, the fraternity hopes to raise around $3,000. Mayor Susan Narvaez says many students want to know more about San Marcos issues. She says more students are engaged in this year's election than she's ever seen. It's wonderful when anyone and everyone decides that they have a vote and they have a say in the future of their government and their lives. A proponent of the commuter railroad, Amanda Gold says local decisions affect students and in turn students can make a big difference in their community. There's so many students on campus, we can swing a vote anyway, and we live here, the, the uh, issues are important to us too. Some students say it is important to be a part of city elections, but feel there's a lack of information available about the candidates. It's not so much as a lack of effort from my part, it's the fact that, well, in most city elections, you haven't the slightest clue who you're voting for. While some students are still deciding on whether or not they'd like to vote, many students, such as these, have no doubt in their mind what they plan to do this coming election. Jared Reed says his decision is based on the issues. The revitalization of downtown San Marcos, as well as an issue that I'm, I'm really behind is uh, the Austin-San Antonio Railway that's coming through here. And I'd want to support somebody that supported that as well. Like Narvaez and Gold, Reed says the student vote is important in an election and says he hopes more people join him at the polls. For Bobcat Update, I'm Teresa Kelton. As students walk to their classes, they're bombarded with questions of whether they're registered to vote in Hayes County. It's important for them to get out and vote this time around because there are several bills that are on the table that impact their ability to afford uh, college education. Um, in addition to that, I mean, it's, it's a civic responsibility issue. But some students don't realize the deadline is drawing near. Are you registered to vote in Hayes County? No, I am not. But Velasquez says she'll register soon because she wants to vote. If you know what you're doing and you know who you're voting for, then it's definitely important. Being away from home to attend school complicates the registration process for some. The key concern is are they registered to vote here in San Marcos? Um, that is one of the main concerns. And also if they've had a change of address, uh, making sure they did record that change of address and they re-registered to vote or um, filled out the change of address form. For those who haven't registered, you can go online and print out a registration card and then mail it to the Hayes County Elections Office on Broadway Street. Or you can stop by the office and fill one out. If you register to vote in Hayes County, Election Day is November 4th, but early voting begins October 20th and lasts till the 31st. And the last day to apply for a ballot by mail is October 28th. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tiffany Pelt.